infinity. Where the dying takes form. Hey guys, welcome to another Form Affinity video in the brand new Maya Config Pro Animation tier, otherwise known as Pro Ani 1.0. So before getting into the graph editor stuff, let's walk you through some of the new features that are apparent in the viewport. If we go to load shelf and go to animation shelf, open and save icons, and then you have all these icons. So up here you've got link, append, make proxy, pose mode, add armature, and this really cool drop to floor feature. So let's look at those in turn. If we uh, show you the uh, default way of doing this in Blender to link a rig, you would normally come up into file, link, navigate to wherever your rig is, ch rain, link, okay, that links it in. It's still not able to select the rig here, so we have to select the object, and then either if you're in default Blender, you hit spacebar, or you could hit F3 in the config here, and you hit proxy, and make proxy. And then you select rig rain. Okay, then of course you can select your rig, go into pose mode, and you have the ability to start animating. I'll show you how we can do this right here with the animation tool set we have created. Go to link, rain, link, collection, rain, link, we've got it here. And select the rig and now we can make proxy so that button's right there so all these three whether you're linking or appending are all right there you don't have to go searching for them and then we can just go down here select the rig rain and that's good to go um, and then we can just go here and go into pose mode and you're ready to animate so it's just a lot faster you know you pick one of these two steps, either link and append, and then you've got, you know, one, two, three, and then you're ready to animate. Um, the other cool thing is you have add ar armature here if you're starting fresh. The next button is this drop to floor button. So if we select an object, we can drop it to floor or raise it to floor in that case. So if you have your object and you're wanting to do like a walk cycle, um, on the ground level, you can just drop it to the floor like so um, and get started building out your rig. Uh, the one thing to note is that this is a bit of a work in progress, and I'll show you why. If I select my rig for rain and let's say it imported below the ground level, uh, this button doesn't work on armatures yet, so I'm hoping to have that. Uh, solved for the next version so just know that that's being worked on and right now you can only use it on meshes and not uh, an armature okay next we have quick access to the graph editor dope sheet and drivers editor so if we click these they just open up in a new window so there's your graph editor your dope sheet with all of its uh, contents and your drivers. And then this button is a pretty cool split area timeline button. So it just pops open your timeline at the bottom. Um, and to close it, you just join areas and close. Uh, eventually, I like to get a toggle feature or a second button to close that easily up here. But right now, um, it opens it up and then you can start animating. So a lot of these buttons are also available in the animation tab at the top here. So if you're working in the animation tab rather than modeling, you have access to those there. You also have a, a shift right mouse button activated animation menu. So you can make proxy, link, append, um, edit 
or excuse me, extrude bones here. Go into pose mode. You've got access to your armature, graph editor, all that kind of stuff that was um, up in that top shelf there is here. But then you also have uh, empty null creation and your freeze transforms and reset transforms. You can also split the editor for the timeline or dope sheet here. So there's the dope sheet. There's the timeline. Okay, so let's dive into the graph editor. I went ahead and created a little animation on this box. If I open up the graph editor and see that's all there. Uh, most of this stuff has essentially been changed from right click to left click. So we can select box select with right click and move, etc. Uh, with our left click. We can also hit F to focus on selection instead of the number pad point. So that's pretty nice. So that is the new Maya Config Pro animation feature set, the new animation tier. So be sure to check that out. It will be on the same product page as the regular Maya Config Pro. If you have any questions, comments, uh, anything you'd like to see, be sure to leave me a comment down below. We're just getting started with this tier, so uh, I'm looking forward to your guys' suggestions and thoughts. And we will see you guys in the next video. Take care.